What's good to you too is Mr. Air Max himself, CEO now, and I'm back like I never left today. I have another unboxing for you guys, the Air Max 90 undefeated collab, that white and solar red, but y'all know my mind by now. I did not come here to talk for 25 minutes. I'm coming to show you guys these sneakers so you can decide whether or not you want to pick these sneakers up or not. So let's get down to the sneakers. As you can see, Nike gave us that nice slide out box, not the top but the lid. Uh, let me get these sneakers out of here for you guys. Slide them out. I always like it when Nike gives us a little extra, like with the slide out boxes. I, I'm not sure why. I just kind of like that. Air Max 90s undefeated. Ew. Bow. Here you guys have it. Let me get the other one. As always, box out of the way. Air Max 90s undefeated. Um, first things first, just want to apologize. I had this sneaker for probably a week and a half. I was supposed to get the review out last Saturday, then Monday, then Wednesday, and here we are, and it's Saturday. But you know how it is, life takes us through certain things and we only have time for important things. So I'm glad the view is finally out, you know what I mean? And as I tell you guys sometimes, I can be lazy. That's just me, like, you know what I mean? I love YouTube, I love my subscribers, but the reality of it is, eh, your boy can get lazy at times, you know what I mean? And my son had a game last night, which he played great in, so I'm involved in basketball, but. I'm not here to make up excuses. I just know you guys want these reviews. Just trying to get them out in a timely manner for you. So here you guys have it, the Air Max 90 undefeated collab, white and solar red. Um, looks almost pink to me, just being honest with you. Gives that pink vibe to it. So maybe that's what solar red means. Um, it did come with these laces right here. Um, before this video is over, maybe towards the end, I'll do a little B-roll and I'll switch these laces in for you guys so you can see how they look. You know what I mean? Um, this, this release was a little weird. Um, they released like I think the blue pair the white and blue pair first last year and then um, a few months went by and we kept saying they were going to come out and they weren't going to come out and then the undefeated website that's where I got my pair from they dropped all the colorways all eight colorways at the same time on the same day um, the Nike app I think they released maybe two or three different colorways um, but on undefeated website they dropped all eight I actually know somebody um, who actually grabbed all eight pairs, which is crazy to me. I'm gonna leave his link down below. He has a YouTube channel. I forget his name off the top of my head, but he's a pretty cool guy. We talk about Air Maxes all the time. He actually grabbed all eight, all at one time, and he did a review on his YouTube channel. So I'll send you guys his link so you can check him out. But for me, a lot of people say this collab was kind of bland. It wasn't a lot going on. But to me, sometimes simple is better. It's okay. Everything doesn't have to be loud. Like Everything doesn't have to be these. Like, it's, it's okay to have a little balance. Like, you know what I mean? I love things like this, but also like a little balance in life as well. To me, this is a great summer sneaker, something that I'm going to kill them with. Um, I also want the white and the yellow pair and probably the white and blue pair. Then I'll be done with this collab. On the back, as you guys can see, you got the undefeated logo back there. Inside is white with the undefeated logo as well. The bottom, that uh, solar red and white. And then down here on the tongue, you got the undefeated thing clip right there. And then on the tongue, let me see. Eh, this is Nike and Air Max. Like I said, not a whole lot going on with the shoe. Nothing too crazy. Uh, the price range was $150. Uh, a little steep, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have mind around $120, $110. That would have definitely been a lot better for me. But like I said, it was an undefeated collab. So I guess Nike felt they should raise the prices a little bit. As far as the, uh, the leather on here, very good quality. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Very good leather on here. Let me take this. Got it there for you guys so you can see it. Nice leather on here. I think that was the main thing that people were impressed by was the leather and the quality. Nike didn't give us a crap sneaker this time around, so I'm definitely uh, happy about that because you all know how Nike can be when it comes to sneakers and collab and things like that. They sometimes can skip little things that give us crap just to release it quickly. But like I said, it took them a while to get this sneaker out. Unsure why it took Nike so long. And maybe if they didn't produce so many colors, Maybe it would have sold better than me because these sat on the Undefeated website for a long time. Uh, I think they're still available on the Undefeated website, actually. Um, I know on StockX, the price isn't too high. Actually, it might be a little lower than retail. So if you're looking for this sneaker, you're waiting for my review. Like I said, sorry it took too long, but the review is out now. I'll definitely have an on feed for you guys. I know you guys are looking forward to that. So stay tuned for the on-foot look of the Air Max 90 Undefeated White and Solar Red.
there you guys have it, the Air Max 90 uh, undefeated collab, white and solar red on feet. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I do have some new jeans coming in from PacSun. Dope pair of jeans are black. Um, been waiting for this jean to get back in stock and back in my size. Went on it the other day, I was at work. Check the uh, PacSun website. Cause you know, I like the jeans with the zippers around the ankles. Like that's the jeans that I wear. That's the only kind of jeans that I wear cause I feel like they fit me perfectly when I do like my own feats and things like that. So it kind of shows off my sneaker. So I've been waiting for these jeans and PacSun to kind of start getting some new different styles in with the with the uh, zipper on the ankle. They finally did. I think I paid like $65 for them. They should be here sometime this week so I can show you guys what they look like. Um, I do have the new Air Max 90 turquoise colorway coming in. That'll be here soon. Um, if you guys check out my other reviews, I got the Air Max 90s Hyper Grapes. Uh, great review, you know what I'm saying? Well, over 8,000 views right now on this sneaker. Um, and I also have this sneaker as well, the Air Max 90 Vault. So like I said, we're starting this year out pretty well. Um, one thing I wanna say to you guys, I appreciate you guys so much. I know I say it a lot and I just don't say it to say it, I actually do mean it. Like I took like a month and a half, two months off and I came back and this video less than a week, 8,000 views. This video a couple days, 4,000 views. And that really means a lot to me. You know what I mean? You guys didn't go away. You came back when I dropped these videos. You guys are commenting. Um, shout out to all my new subs and shout out to all my day ones. The people that have been rocking with me since the day I started, I definitely appreciate you guys. We're only getting better. But like I said, that means so much to me to come back after two months, taking time off. It was a holiday time. Nike hadn't really dropped anything, and I drop a sneaker, do a review, and it gets 8,000 views on it. Like I said, I think we're almost at 4,000 subs right now. We're like 40, 50 away. You know what I mean? We've been 4,000. I definitely want to hit like 5,000, 8,000 this year, but I'm definitely going to do a giveaway when I hit 4,000. I have to. You guys have been there with me. You've done so much. You support me. You're always sharing my videos, commenting, and that means so much. Like I said, I appreciate you guys. Just wanted to get that out before we keep going on with the review. So, like I said, Air Max 90s right here. It's the year of the Air Maxes. Like, you know what I mean? I definitely have a couple more pair coming in. Um, I was at Polo the other day. Wanted to show you guys what I picked up. You guys know I love clothes, love fashion. Picked up this crazy, nice denim jacket from Polo. The crazy thing is I wasn't going to buy it. I was like, oh, I'll come back because I'd already bought a couple of things. But every time I leave Polo and say I'm going to come back, these things always sell out. So this was like 160. You know, your boy had a little coupon, got it down to 119. Um, nice little patches on the sleeves, a lot of different writings on the back. Just a dope denim jacket, you know what I mean? Um, and I was just talking to a friend today. We all understand that we all want the sneakers. We all want the fly, dope sneakers, our feet looking good. But you gotta remember your jeans, you know what I mean? Your shirts, your jackets. Don't be afraid to, to take a time off and stop buying so many sneakers and get yourself some nice clothes as well. You know what I mean? And I see a lot of people, like I told you in my last video, be complaining about the Jordans coming out this year and people are upset. Yo, Jordan brand, like I told you, has been doing this. It's nothing new. They're just taking a little time off in January. February, they pick right back up with that garbage and you guys will keep picking it up. That's just what it is, you know what I mean? And another thing, it's okay. If you like the Jordan releases that are coming out, that's fine. I just don't like them. But that doesn't mean I should dictate what you should buy or not. But what I'm seeing, especially on like Instagram and other YouTubers, one YouTuber, big YouTuber says that the Jordan brand, that's the Jordan stuff that's coming out is trash. And all of a sudden everybody says, oh, Jordan brand is trash this year. Really? Like nobody wants to be themselves? So now everybody wants to run over to Air Maxes. Like, oh, I got to get these Air Maxes. I'm the biggest Air Maxes. No, you're not. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to buy. You buy what everybody tells you to buy. That's why when it, when it was cool to buy Jordans, you bought Jordans. When it's cool to buy Air Maxes, you buy Air Maxes. My thing is just buy what you want to buy at the end of the day. Review what you want to review. That is it. It should not matter. You know what I mean? I don't care if people don't like me buying these sneakers or like my Air Max 90s or like my collection. I'm going to buy what I want to buy. I hopped into the Air Max lane because it was comfortable before me. The Jordan brand, no longer, the comfortability wasn't there. I didn't like the price range. I didn't like the quality. I didn't like the colors. I didn't like the trash that Jordan brand was putting out. So I made a choice to hop over in this Air Max lane. And one thing I want to let you guys know, I do do the Air Maxes. I love them. But I'm always going to give respect for the guys that have been doing it for so long. Like I said, there's a lot of people out there that have been rocking with the Air Maxes for 30 years. Air Max 90 is 30 years old this year. So there's been people that have been rocking with it since day one. So I'm not going to pretend that I've been doing this for the whole time when the reality of it is, I've only been doing it for a few years. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, my motto is 
buy what you want to buy, wear what you want to wear. I don't care if it's a pair of K Swisses, BK Knights. I don't care what it is, LA Gears. Yo, just rock what you want to rock and enjoy life. It's too short, you know what I mean? So I want to give you guys a couple more looks at this because I know you guys came here to see this. You complained about me not putting it out. Well, here you go. So Air Max 90s undefeated. Um, and another thing on Instagram, if you guys are on Instagram, uh, the Nation of Souls, I guess they came out with this kind of like a war ceremony and they're giving people the war. Certain people were nominated. But the crazy thing is the people that weren't nominated, people are really upset. And I'm confused by that a little bit. Like, I'm happy. Like, I wasn't nominated for anything and that's fine. I'm not really into like all the circles of people. I don't really deal with a lot of people in the sneaker YouTube world. That's just not me. You know what I mean? Not that I have any problems with anybody. That's just not my world. You know what I mean? But people are really upset that they weren't nominated. And some people just want to know what was the criteria to be nominated, which I understand from those people. But you got other people that are just upset. But the problem is, if you're not putting the work in in YouTube, you're not going to get rewarded. Like people are like, oh, I'm better than this person. I'm better than this person. Yo, you could be. Your content could be better, but if that person's outworking you and putting more content out and hustling more than you are, then they're going to stay above you. That's just what it is. You know what I mean? I'm content with my channel. I'm happy with my channel. I'm happy with myself. I appreciate you all. All I'm trying to do is keep building my brand, keep building it and building up. That is it. So like I said, I appreciate you guys. I know I talked a lot, but we haven't talked in a while. So I figured I had a lot to say. I appreciate you as always. If it's first time watching one of my videos, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at CEO now 23. And as always, Mr. Air Max himself, I'm Ghost.